All right, looks like I'm doing this alone today, guys. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Kai the Conscious Kid back with another video. And this was about my um, elementary memories from uh, my old school, which is a community private school. And it went from basically when you're three, three-year-olds, which is literally what it was called, to uh, fifth grade, you know, elementary. Um, so, yeah, I've always been in a small school. I don't really know what a big school is like. Uh, so, yeah, it's a pretty good school, though. I loved it there. So, uh, when we were in, when you were in three-year-old class, you only have half the day. So, either you come at the beginning of the day and leave at lunch, or you, um, come at lunch and leave at the end of the day. And my class was, uh, I started at the beginning of the day and left after lunch. And that was the best because I always got home and I got to watch TV and stuff before my brother. And then he gets home and he's like, hey, let me watch something. But, you know, I'm already there. But, you know, I'm three, so I don't really know much from when that happened. I remember one time, um, though. I was there, and I was watching, I can't remember what show it was, but I was watching TV, and he came in, and he was mad, because he wanted to watch a show, but I was already watching mine, so he had to wait, and then it was over by time, so it was kind of funny, but, um, yeah, so, <laughs> in one of the first few weeks of being in school there, three-year-olds, um, we were doing rhyming words, words that rhyme with our names, so, you know, my name is Kai, so, Kai, Lie, Cry, Sky, Pi, Y, you know, all the stuff, right? So my teacher gave me all these options, and I couldn't think. Hmm. So then she narrowed it down. Pie or sky? And I was like, I like eating pie, but the sky is so cool. And so then she was like, you know what? I'm just going to write down sky, because I was taking forever. And then once she wrote it down, I was like, you know, I wanted pie. So I yelled at her, no, you're the worst teacher ever. I wanted to have pie. You're mean, you're mean, and you let everybody else choose theirs, but I didn't get to pick mine. And I went on this big, like, temper tantrum. And uh, they ended up, I ended up getting in trouble. Not, like, big trouble because, you know, I'm three. But they were like, you know, uh, Kai decided to, you know, yell at us or whatever. But, you know, they didn't take it seriously because, again, I'm three. And, um, <laughs> yeah, funny, funny school years. And um, the other thing that happened when I was three is we had free time. So we had, like, a lot of free time, actually, like, three times in the day, which is, like, half of an actual, like, an actual class time, which is even smaller because we have play time. So one, we go outside, and the other two, we stay inside and do whatever. So I decided to build blocks. And I made this really, like, little, like, triangle out of blocks, like the wooden blocks. And uh, Joseph, you know, I didn't really know anybody. His name's Joseph. Uh, he came in, and he laughed. He grabbed a block, and he threw it at the center of it, and it fell. And I got really mad at him. So I tried to throw a bro. <laughs> I tried to throw one of the blocks at him, but I went over his head because he kind of, like, ran away a little bit. And I hit this kid named Victor. He was inside, like, this kind of tent thing, but, like, his head was sticking out of the side. And I hit him, and basically he got really mad at me, but not really because he didn't know anybody either. And then I ended up hitting Joseph anyways <laughs> uh, with another block. And we became friends with, like, a, like, three people. It was pretty cool. We were, like, a tight group. And then, uh, yeah, you'll hear more about that later. But yeah, that's how I met two of my best friends, hitting them with blocks. And now we're like, <laughs> now we still keep in touch. Me me and Victor keep more in touch than we do with Joseph because he goes to another school and we never got his phone number. But uh, I see him sometimes at my bus stop. So, yeah. And then um, fast forward, you know, kinder, we had a pre-K, kindergarten was fun, and then you go to first grade. Ah, oh, first grade was, it was a trip. It was a trip. So... If you haven't read Demarcus Jones' book one, I recommend you do that because that can relate a lot to this. So Demarcus, and uh, he has problems with Miss Smith. That's kind of like how I was with Miss Stevenson. And no, book book one was written before I went to first grade, so they're not linked. But, um, yeah, it was a weird, weird year. So other kids would be yelling and screaming in class, right? And I simply, I asked someone for something, or, you know. I go up and say, hey, what do we do about this? Or, hey, what's the instruction on this? And she'd say I was being too loud. And I know I'm a loud person, but everyone else is literally screaming. So I couldn't have been that loud. So, uh, yeah, it was funny. And then um, that's also when I got my finger cut with scissors. So long story short, well, long story long, technically, we were supposed to be looking in a magazine. We had stations for solids, liquids, and gases. And we were in this magazine, and there was this little picture of a girl laughing. And Camilla thought it was the funniest thing. That was her name. 
And um, when she laughs, her dimples like go way up, and so her eyes technically almost close. So she's laughing, and she was like, ah, ha, 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 ha. And she kept like cutting the face, and I'm like, dude, stop, you know, we need to get to work, and that's not right. And I was like, all right, come on, we need to turn to the next page. And she was like, all right, so let me do it one more time. And I was like, oh, fine. So she cut the face one more time. So then after she was done, she kept laughing. I tried. I decided to flip the page. So I got my two fingers, and I reached over because, you know, it was like the right side, you know, flipping this way. So I got it, and I reached over to do it, right? And she was still laughing, and she tried to cut the face again. But when I was turning it this way, she was cutting my finger. It was mainly just this one. My thumb I got one little slice, but it wasn't really bleeding. And I was screaming, and I was crying. I'm like, oh, wow, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. And uh, yeah, the teacher, she got, um, she was just like, Kai, I need you to be quiet. Because, you know, it's like our classroom, okay, here's like a bird's eye view. So here's right here, right? And we have like a, it's like a box right here. It's like a box where it's like this, but it's like an area on top of the class. And we have like a U-shaped table right there where she teaches like for the, um, like, you know, words, language, language usage and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, the box is right here, you know, whatever. And then we're over here on this side, and she sits in the middle, so she couldn't really see my finger. There's, like, this thing that encloses us, so we don't, like, bother anybody else. So she couldn't really see my finger, and I'm screaming and crying, and I'm like, no, no, no. And so then she finally stood up, and I showed her my finger. And she was like, oh, God. So, uh, you know, she called uh, the principal and stuff. We both went to the principal's office. And surprisingly, I thought that I was in trouble because, you know, I went to the principal's, and I only heard, you know, if you go to the principal, you did something wrong. So I was like, what did I do wrong? My finger got cut. I completely didn't do anything wrong. I mean, I was trying to follow instruction. So, yeah, I ended up getting, I, I didn't get in trouble, but I went to the principals and we talked about it. Uh, you know, I thought that I was in trouble. I thought it was going to be bad. You know, they said, like, the permanent record. I don't know what that was, but I knew that, like, it goes for, like, everything for how, no matter how old you get, you know, it stays there. So I was terrified, uh, but, you know, they didn't put on a permanent record because, you know, I didn't, I didn't do anything wrong. Uh, I wasn't in trouble. You know, everything was fine. Uh, yeah, that's my main memory from first grade. Uh, fun year. And Ms. Stevenson, she was a good teacher. It's just I felt like, you know, sometimes when I wasn't really doing anything bad, I was being singled out, uh, which I never really talked to her about. But I did. I'm not sure if I talked to my mom about it in first grade. But I know I eventually talk to her about it because we joke about it sometimes uh, now. So, uh, yeah. And then we go to second grade. That's the first year that I ever had a teacher leave uh, while I was there. and Or that year that I was there. You know, kind of she left at the end of the year. And, you know, I don't really remember much from second grade. I just remember that I had, a, like, a Samantha in my class. There was a girl, Josiah, Joseph. We were all in the same class. And it was pretty fun. And there was something called RM, Reasoning Mind. And you get coins from it. Basically, like, you know, you solve the math problem. You go through the steps of, you know, like, addition, subtraction, or whatever. Uh, and you have to do it. So it says, you know, what's, like, let's see, 26 minus 5. 21. <laughs> 21. So, uh, yeah, you know, if you get it right, then you get all the coins. Like, it's, like, it varies varies depending on how prob how hard the problem was. Uh, I think that was, like, 10 or whatever. Anyway, so there was this girl next to me named Crendon. This is also her last year there. And, uh, no, she had, yeah, she was, she, was, she was still there in third grade, so yeah, it wasn't her last year yet. But, uh, yeah, she sat next to me. And I had more points when we finished. Uh, I finished before, no, I, I had a streak. So I keep a streak. If you keep getting them right, right? Or right, yeah, if you keep getting them right. So, <laughs> yeah, I kept getting them right ever since the beginning of the year, all the way, all the way, all the way. Now, you have different, um, I can't really remember it that well, but I think it's like objectives. Oh, it's like the different stages that you're at. Uh, and I ended up, I was doing really good, and I had like three left. And like, you know, I had my streak kept going with like 100, I think 126. And I was so proud of it. And then like, um, because one day before, like a little bit before, she had lost her streak. And I laughed at her, you know, like, hi, you got a lower streak. Because, you know, it wasn't like being mean, it was like a competition. Uh, and she ended up getting kind of mad about that. And I was like, you know, I'm sorry. And then a few days after that, uh, we were lining up to leave. And I had one more problem, and I was trying to rush. I'm like, all right, hold on, let me get this problem, let me get this problem. And then Joseph was like, oh, dude, but what about your streak? And I was like, eh, that's easy. And I, uh, I clicked it in, and I got it wrong. And I was so sad. I was <laughs> like, oh, man, like my entire streak, everything I worked for, 126 problems in a row has just fallen down and gone. And, yeah, that's my big memory from second grade. I was really sad about that. 
But, uh, yeah, our room was, it was pretty fun. You get to, like, make your own little house. You get bodyguards, there's a disco ball, chairs, like, you know, royal chairs. You get pets. You get to change, like, your wallpaper. You can be in space. It's really fun. Uh, but, yeah, that was, it, blah, blah, blah. That's what you did with my school. I'm not, I don't really know how other elementary schools did it, because, you know, mine's a private school. Uh, but, yeah. So, then, in third grade, um, Miss Wendell, she was one of my favorite teachers, or... She was, technically. Uh, but that year, at the end of the year, she didn't tell us until the very last day. And we're like, you know, you know, Miss Wendell, I'll see you next year. It'll be great. And then we have, like, a circle where we circle up at the end of the year. And she told us that she was leaving. Uh, she was moving to Ethiopia in Africa to teach the kids there. Uh, and, you know, all the girls are crying. And this kid named Kelvin, uh, he, he was, like, laughing about it. He was like, ha, 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 y'all are all crying. But then I thought about it. You know, I was like, wait, but she's, like, my favorite teacher. And I was like, oh, man, I'm not going to see her again. So I started crying, but, you know, it wasn't like, you know, you make noise, it's like the silent cry. And then Kelvin saw that I was crying, and he was like, oh, wow, you're crying too? I guess it's kind of sad. And so he lets he stop laughing. But me and him weren't really friends back then. He was more friends with, like, Isaac and all of them. Uh, we ended up kind of becoming friends later on. Um, so, yeah, fast forward, fourth grade, we had the new teacher, Ms. Gunter. Uh, she, was, she was a good teacher. She's really nice. She's still there. Uh... Yeah, I will say, she's one of my favorite, yeah. She's really fun and joyful, exciting. Uh, you know, when I do something, she doesn't just say, you know, oh, you did this wrong, you did that. She's like, well, you know, I noticed that, you know, this was a little different. Or when I'm talking too much in class, uh, one time she sent me out. She sent me to the hallway because I just would not stop talking um, in the middle of her trying to talk. So we ended up coming up with a signal for me. Uh, basically, when I'm talking too much, she'll, like, signal me, and then I'll be like, oh, okay, I need to be quieter. Or, you know, not quieter, but, you know, not talk while she was talking. Or, yeah, in general, sometimes, like, when we're having, you can talk, I need to be quieter, you know? Uh, sorry. A little stuffy. Oh, uh, yeah, but, yeah, in fifth grade, uh, last year, it was really sad. We went on a camping trip. We go for, I can't remember how many days. I think it's, like, three, uh, three or five. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, it's a fun trip. You get to spend the night at the campsite. We have our own camping place. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. You get to stay there for the night. We have s'mores. And it was over April Fool's. So, uh, yeah, that, that'll that go into play later. But, uh, so the boys are on this side and the girls are on this side. And when you go to the restroom, you have to go through here. Like, technically you could go around this way, but they said we should go through the pavilion instead of going out, like, by the forest. And so every time I'd go over there to go at the restroom, the teachers, you know, they'd be, like, they were, like, half sleep, half not. And they were like, you know, stop going over to the girls' side, you know, we don't know what you could be doing over there, you know. Uh, but I was just going to the restroom. I went, like, twice, uh, two different nights. And they were like, you know, three strikes, you're going to have to sing at home. And I didn't understand that. I was like, I'm just going to the restroom. But, you know, I didn't want to talk back to my teachers, so I didn't say anything about it. Uh, so, yeah, they told me that in the morning uh, on April Fool's Day. And then they told everybody, uh, when we all grouped up and we all had breakfast and stuff, they were being serious, and they were like, it was uh, Miss Meckler and Miss Gunter, because we have uh, two teachers for each grade in my school. Uh, yeah, so... It was pretty, like, it was kind of sad because they were just, like, you know, y'all are being bad, so we're going to, because we have, like, two more days left. And they were, like, y'all are being bad, so we're going to send y'all home early, you know, you're not going to get to enjoy the rest of the trip. Yeah, yeah they were, like, you're not going to get to enjoy the rest of the trip, and we were kind of sad. And we were, like, no, you know, we didn't really do anything. I mean, we talked sometimes, but, you know, we followed instructions. And, you know, it was kind of like, you know, we didn't do anything wrong or all that. And then, guess who's back? <laughs> back there again. Okay. Yeah, okay, what was I say? Yes, teachers pulled an April Fool's prank on us. We all believed it uh, for like a solid like five minutes. We were all sad. We were all like, come on, you know, we're blaming it on other people. Come on, guys, why does I do that? Now we can't, you know, now we can't stay here for the whole time. Because they, they were saying they have taken kids back before. But it's kind of unbelievable for us because it's a two-hour drive there from our school. And that's kind of crazy. So, yeah. But yeah, and then we had the graduation, the leaving our parts and goodbyes. It's kind of sad. Actually, it was really sad. Uh, everybody cried. Not everybody, but most people. I cried. Um, yeah, a lot, actually. Me and my friend Josiah, uh, John Paul, Kelvin, we all like got in a little huddle. And, you know, we're like, you know, we'll still stay in contact. And we kind of do. I don't really contact with like Kelvin. I talk to John Paul sometimes. Uh, Josiah, not really anymore, but, 
Yeah, I don't know. See, it's only been like a year and a half, and we've already lost contact. I've already lost contact with most of my people. But uh, I have a little box that I made. And the funny thing is, on the bottom of it, I always forget. On the bottom of it, I have a lot of their phone numbers. Because it's like, I have to flip it over, like, you know, but I always forget that it's there. And I'm like, dang, I wish I had this person's phone number. And my brother would hear me sometimes, and he's like, didn't you say it's on the bottom of your box? And I was like, oh, you're smart. And I was like, run. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get my phone, you know, putting their numbers. It's pretty cool. I talk to people every once in a while. I'll check up on what's going on in their lives. It's pretty fun. Um, and yeah, at my old school, we have a play every year for most. It's like a, there's the grades that it goes through. Uh, and yeah, there's one for every grade, basically. Uh, so like even when you're really little, uh, when you're three, you don't do one. And when you're in pre-K, I think you, you do do one. You're on the, 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 like the sides though. So there's a stage and then we have like the two things on the side of like the people stand. It's kind of like bleachers, but like different. I don't know what they're called. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's where like you only really sing. So when you're not. Uh, they tell you to stay standing up. Sometimes you just sit down, but most of the time you just stand up the whole time. Uh, and you kind of just sit there and watch the play. And then when it's time to sing, boom, you face the audience. You got masks on. So we did a play with, like, animals, you know. Uh, I was an elephant. That was kind of fun. Uh, you know, different plays. So once we were old enough to get the lead, the main role, I took on the main role every single year except for two. And I was just, I was used to, like, automatically getting the main role. Uh, so, you know, in that first grade year, I was like... What? I'm offended. But, you know, I understood, you know, I'm not the only person in the world. I need a lot of people have their fair share. But, of course, for the next years going, second, third, fourth, fifth, I went for the main role because I like theater, and I think I'm pretty good at it. And I, uh, uh yeah, theater's fun. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's kind of good to be, like, front and center. I feel, feels good. Feels good. So yeah, second grade year, third grade year, fourth grade year, I got the lead. Uh, and you know, yeah, the fourth grade year, I was Scrooge. That was by far probably my favorite. I love that solo, I'll change. Yes, I'll change. It was fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we'll cut to a clip of that uh, now. Ebenezer Scrooge, no spirit. Oh no! No! I just, I loved it. I loved being Scrooge. I love theater in general. I still do plays now. I don't have my old school. Uh, everything is great. I loved it. You know, even though I had my problems and, you know, all the bad stuff happened, it was just great. We had, you know, our music class, gym, we had art, you know, we didn't, we didn't really have electives. Uh, and on Wednesdays, we got out early. That was the best because in fifth grade, because you get out at one uh, on Wednesdays. So you just get to spend from 12 to 1 that whole hour. You just play and play and play and play. And then we go. And then, yeah, we leave. Uh, yeah, it's fun. Let's play. Okay. Let's play. Okay. Let's play a game today. I gotta make this quick. All right. So, yeah, I did Scrooge uh, for my fourth grade play. No, yes, 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 yes. Okay. And, you know, he's a little British. So, I didn't use my accent this heavy, but I did use it quite a little bit while I was there, being a theater kid, because I like theater stuff, because I do theater. Er, er. I'm sorry, I just got energy today. Okay, and uh, the quote is, Stop getting distracted by things that have nothing to do with your goals. 
Hey, you. You want to graduate college? Stop worrying about all the ladies, dude. You got to work, focus on your education, then do that. You see, you don't need to do things that have nothing to do with what you want to do. You see what I'm saying? Let's say your goal is to do better with math. Playing video games ain't going to help. I mean, yeah, I'm guilty. Guilty as charged. I love video games. I play them all the time. But if you need to get better at something or you're trying to do something, do that first. Work on all of that. Games after. Games after. Uh, get off of education. Let's say you're in a business. Uh, your business is flourishing. You want to get, I don't know, you want to get like three more million this year than you did last year. And you need to work, focus on that for your goals. Maybe you need to get new products, you know, stuff like that. Stop focusing on, I don't want to know because I'm 12. I don't have a job. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kai. I am John, so I'm a fly in the sky while I'm eating a blueberry pie. I already said hi, so don't worry about me if I cry. I'm going to go sigh, because... All right, this is Catholic Conscious Kid, signing out. Peace. Of course, just for picking man's pockets every 25th of December. We're even 